How is everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a 2015-2016 Carolina Panthers roster breakdown. Basically, in these roster breakdowns, all I do is just analyze each player at each position of a specific team. Today, we're doing the Carolina Panthers, so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting at the quarterback position, going all the way back to the strong safety position, we have Cam Newton, Derek Anderson, and Joe Webb. Joe Webb, starting out third string, allows kind of a little bit of mobility, but hasn't really proven himself as the quarterback. Derek Anderson has been in the league for a while. Hasn't done too many crazy things. I thought he was expected to be kind of a starter in the league, but really is kind of disappointed with some of his stuff. And Cam Newton's been a pretty solid player, man. He's had some, he's had some, uh, you know, tough games where he's just not performed at a great level. But he has had games where he's performed at a great level, man. He's been a very good quarterback, one of the best rookies. Uh, one of the best rookies in the NFL at the time that he came in and has developed pretty nicely. I think he could be a very good player for the Panthers in the future as, as, as he continues to develop as a passer, man. Excellent runner though already. Everybody knows how great a player he was at Auburn. As we look at the running back position right here, we got Jordan Todman, Fozzie Whitaker, Cameron Artis Payne, and Jonathan Stewart. Now, I kind of have a little bit of you know personal insight on Jonathan Stewart because I remember him just playing against my Seahawks in the NFC Divisional game last year. And Jonathan Stewart is a monster, man, a very good player. Way better than I thought he did. Kind of, I think, has played in the shadow of D'Angelo Williams for a little bit. But now that D'Angelo has uh, uh, gone to Pittsburgh, and now it's, his, now it's his time to shine, man. If he can stay healthy, I think he could be a dominant force to the Panthers. He was a ridiculous player against uh, even the Seahawks with a, a stout defense like that. I saw him making plays. Mike Tolbert, really underrated. People don't really understand how big of an impact he can have. Uh, on the Panthers offense I've seen him do you know he had some crazy runs against just going up the gut man he just made some great plays for them uh, in terms of running the football I think if the Panthers get the run game going they could be extremely deadly like an extremely deadly force in the NFC uh, now moving over to the wide receiver position unfortunate news Kel Kelvin Benjamin actually tore his ACL uh, and is going to be out for the 2015-2016 NFL season so that is a huge blow to the Panthers offense especially because he was an upcoming star man he was a huge target at 6'5 and uh, was going to be in a great player for this year for the Panthers I think unfortunate that they lost him but they have a couple other options Devin Funches is that thing is going to have to step up huge for them they got some other guys you know Mike Brown, Philly Brown uh, Ted Ginn, Jared Kukotri, Jared Boykin. They can need some other guys to step up, and Devin Funches is definitely going to have to step up and try and fill up that role. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin not being there, it's, it's very unfortunate. But, you know, it's a good thing they did draft Devin Funches. You know, he actually will give Cam Newton that ability to throw up to a guy at 6'5", even if he's not super accurate, you know, he can get the ball to him, and he can get he can make a play on the ball, man. Jericho Cotri has been in the league for a while. He knows how the game works at the receiver position. Ted Ginn offers that speed ability and to get past receivers, whether it's a quick slant or, you know, maybe a deep route. He can get behind guys. Uh, and Jared Boykin, Philly Brown, Mike Brown, Brent Burson all have something to prove on the Panthers and show that they actually deserve to be uh, a, a vital part of their offense in terms of uh, the passing game, or maybe even run blocking, you know, that's another way that you can get noticed. As we look at the tight end position, Greg Olson, in my personal opinion, probably a top five tight end in the NFL. Ridiculous hands, great receiving tight end. Uh, probably an excellent fantasy option, man. I remember him being in a fantasy league couple, uh, last year and some other years ago. Always been a great player. Uh, you see out of Miami, seven years of experience. Been a very good player for a while. I think he's been in uh, on the Carolina Panthers for his entire career. I may be wrong about that, but definitely has been a force to, to be reckoned with for the Carolina Panthers throughout his entire career, uh, and has just been a great player. Obviously, tight ends are often a safety blanket for a quarterback, and I think he provides a great safety blanket for Cam Newton, especially this year. He might be even more important than ever. Without Kevin uh, Benjamin, uh, Kel yeah, you're going to need, without Kevin Benjamin, you're definitely going to need to have uh, Greg Olson step up. Now, moving over to the offensive line, I actually did mention this in my Detroit Lions roster breakdown, but because I'm just... It's just hard for everybody, I think, to be an expert on each particular line and to kind of break down that. I'm just going to go over kind of the line in general. Uh, the good thing is the fact that the Panthers have such a uh, elusive quarterback like Cam Newton. They don't necessarily need to have a ridiculous pass blocking offense, but a solid one. I think run blocking is probably more important than anything for the uh, Panthers to focus on as I mess up here and go to the Raiders real quick. But I think more more important than anything is probably run blocking for the Panthers because if they can establish the run game with Jonathan Stewart and with uh, you know those other guys like Cameron Ars Payne and Jordan Tomlin, I think they can really open up the play action with Greg Olson and Devin Funches, Philly Brown, those other guys, and they can really get something going on the passing attack. 
attack without having Kelvin Benjamin be that huge target and be that huge playmaker for the team. Uh, so I personally believe if they can get a run blocking game, if their uh, offensive linemen have great run blocking abilities, which I'm not huge experts on any of them, so I unfortunately can't uh, explain that to you. And I think I've gotten some hate by some people for trying to uh, uh, act like I knew or trying to state what I already knew about some offensive linemen. But, you know, maybe that's just one particular video. But uh, anyway, I think their O-line could, if they could get the run game going, uh, definitely be an effective team offensively, and that'll be huge for their offensive line. Let's look at Charles Johnson right here. Uh, seven years of experience out of Georgia. Charles Johnson has actually been a much better player than I expected. 70, 62 sacks in his total career, along with 16 forced fumbles. Been a pretty solid player for the Panthers in general. Played there his entire career. And with the loss of Greg Hardy, you know, you need a pretty good end uh, to, to rush the passer off the edge. Uh, and uh, he's one of them that is he's a player that's going to be a, a great, have a great impact on their defensive line. As well as Coney Ely out of Missouri, uh, 6'4", 275 rookie out of Missouri. Actually, I don't know. I think this is his second year. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's going into his second year. Obviously, it says rookie because uh, I'm looking at Madden NFL 15, and that's when he was a rookie. But at this point in his career, uh, he is going to go into his second year as a Carolina Panther. As look at Star Lutule or Lutule. Lutula Lely, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, uh, I'll be honest with you, but uh, I think Star Lutula was a pretty good player because I remember him going up against the Seattle Seahawks in the NFC Divisional Round, and he's been a really, I mean, he was really effective stopping our run game. I mean, I remember Marshawn couldn't get, like, any openings to go, and it was, like, one or two plays where he was able to finally get that to go. So I think if he's, I mean, he's young as heck, too. I mean, you see one year of experience. Uh, he, he has plenty of time to develop and get into an, you know, an even dominant uh, force as well as well as Kwan Short right there. I think that duo right there is a pretty solid uh, two guys that can really put some uh, impact on the opposing offensive linemen and stop the run. Look at Shaq Thompson right here, age 20, out of the University of Washington, and AJ Klein backing him up. Shaq Thompson is a really interesting prospect, really athletic player, if you didn't know. Actually played running back in college as well as linebacker. So a very athletic player, 6'1", 230 pounds. I, 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 he was pretty good in pursuit and great acceleration, kind of an athletic dude. Uh, good in coverage and great tackler, kind of a great player all around. Not the tallest of guys, only 6'1", but definitely can develop into some kind of a wild card player for the Panthers. You know, who knows? They'll be, maybe I think I feel like he's one of those guys that's been that can has, that has the ability. Excuse me, that has the ability of being moved over in linebacker position, but not really much of a problem as we look at the other linebacker position right here. Luke Keekley. I'm a huge Seahawks fan, man. Uh, I think Bobby Wagner is a great player. I think he's an excellent middle linebacker, but it's hard for him, for me to say that Luke Keekley is not the best uh, linebacker in the league because I think Luke Keekley is the best linebacker in the league. It's hard for me not to say that he isn't because, you know, he led the league in NFL in tackles last year and just a beast player, man. It's hard it's hard not to, not to say he's like uh, the best linebacker in the league. He's almost like the J.J. Watt of the linebacker position, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's hard to say anything else about that. It's Thomas Davis. A much more experienced player than Luke Keekley, but just as effective at times. Thomas Davis, also, not only is he known for being a great coverage linebacker, he's got great speed, man. I saw him pursuing ball carriers of Seattle all day long in the NFC Divisional game. It was kind of annoying at times. I was like, come on, man, why is Thomas Davis just, like, destroying every run game to the outside? Great pursuit, block shed, everything. Really good at everything in that linebacker position. I don't have any complaints about him, to be honest with you, but... Uh, definitely, op I mean, the, the, the Carolina Panther linebacking core could be really deadly. One of the best in the NFL, I think. As we, look at the as we look at the cornerback position with Charles Tillman, Josh Norman, and I don't even know how to pronounce that guy's name. Third, the third cornerback, Melvin White, and I don't know who the last cornerback was on the list right here out of the five. But Charles Tillman, just starting off with him, I think he can provide some excellent experience. We know how great of a player he was with the uh, Chicago Bears in his time there. Uh, great player, man. I mean, people, one, one underestimated uh, impact that he has on the game is the fact that he forced a lot of fumbles, man. He's actually forced 42 fumbles with a with his uh, renowned peanut punch where he like, kind of strips the ball or hits the ball out of the receiver's uh, hand from behind or while they're running. And a uh, really good player, as long as... Uh, he can teach those other guys how to play the cornerback position the right way. They should be fine. But uh, and they also got rid of some guys that I felt like uh, weren't as good as they and weren't as good as they expected them to be. And uh, therefore, it could be more effective. Look at Kirk Coleman right here and Trey Boston. I actually was watching a little bit of uh, film on Trey Boston. I think he could be an excellent player. A lot of the film I saw of him was great in coverage, so that's a positive sign for them. Let's look at Roman Harper, Super Bowl champion, actually with the uh, New Orleans Saints. Man, very good player. Uh, Two-time Pro Bowl in 2009, 2010, 11 interceptions in his career, and 15 forced fumbles. Definitely can show some uh, knowledge to these other guys um, on the Panthers' safety.
safety position, whether it's free safety or strong safety, I'm sure, to Robert Lester in particular. Backing him up at Graham Gano at the kicker position. You Carolina Panthers fans can let me know how you felt about uh, your special teams last year. I wasn't a huge watcher of Carolina Panthers games, but that actually concludes my roster, my roster breakdown of the Carolina Panthers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not claiming I'm an expert of the Carolina Panthers, just kind of giving my personal insight on the team and what I personally think uh, they're good at, kind of the needs, just what I personally think about it, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Madden content. Uh, this is Madden NFL 15, right? I'm doing this on right now, but make sure to subscribe for Madden 16 because I'm going to be uploading tons of videos as soon as the game comes out. Really looking forward to watching that. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.